Hello friends, welcome back. This video is all about Azure Key Vault and this whole topic will be as part of AZ204 Developing Solution for Microsoft Azure Certification. This is very important certification and uh, we will cover every single aspect of the certification concept for the Azure Key Vault. If you go to this URL, you will see the complete exam uh, topics and then we will be covering the specific one. So in this topic, we will be covering implement secure Azure solution all of these things are important it's gonna come so this video will be interesting and useful come let's get started all right so what is this az204 implement secure Azure solution so under that hood there are three important things that Microsoft is looking for the first one is securing app configuration data by using the app configuration or using the Azure key vault and then you should also be familiar with the secret certificates and the keys that is there in the Azure Key Vault. The last one is based on the managed identity, how do you utilize uh, and access the, the Azure Key Vault, those kind of concepts, right? So, but this video that you're watching will have the complete picture of Azure Key Vault. So let's first understand what is going on and then let's step into the demo right away. All right, throughout this Azure Key Vault video will be, uh, you know, covering a couple of important concepts. And in this video, we'll first understand what is Key Vault, and then we'll be seeing the configuration in the Key Vault, what is soft delete purge protection in the Key Vault is going to help us, and then how you can use the Key Vault reference for your function app or even your web app uh, hosted in the web app, app servers, and then a lot of demos, right? So we will be doing all of these things. So what is Key Vault? Azure Key Vault is a cloud service offered by Microsoft Azure for securely storing and managing sensitive information such as cryptographic keys, password, certificate and other secrets. Now, you know, anyone can read this, but let me help you to understand what is this. So in the application, you will have configurations, right? Like app settings, some values that is really required for the application to access some resources. So those like even connection sting. So those kind of important secrets are kept in something called secrets. Okay, because they are secrets which you don't need to re reveal for others. Right now, cryptographic keys. There are two more concepts in Azure Key Vault, mainly called keys and then certificate. Okay, so cryptographic keys means the key that is used to encrypt your stuff. That your stuff could be uh, the content that is stored in the storage account or your virtual machine hard disk uh, can be encrypted with the key. So those kind of keys right bit encryption keys and all is very sensitive and it should not be revealed outside you need to keep that safe somewhere so you need to keep those as uh, you know keys safe that you can do it in azure key vault that is what called cryptographic keys okay so basically certificate is nothing but assigned uh encoded content right that uh, does the handshake between your uh, domain and the site okay so as to establish the secured connection so that kind of a certificates which is used for the web application, uh, those kind of uh, certificates can be stored uh, in the Azure Key Vault. Now, like I said, the three types, right? So keys, secrets, and certificates. Uh, anything that is related to the cryptographic keys that is uh, used to encrypt the disk and all will be there in the key. Secret is nothing but the application secrets that you don't want to uh, show it outside, but you know, connection string and password that you wanted to use within the applications are stored in the secrets. Certificate is nothing but for the communication purpose, which is the encryption in transit, right? So those kind of certificates are stored in the certificate. Now coming back to this, uh, you know, the, the tires of the Azure Key Vault, there are two things, right? Standard and the premium. Standard is basically based on the software protected and then the premium is basically standard plus HSM. So in standard tier, right, this tier is designed mostly for the common scenarios and that provides the essential Key Vault functionality. Now the standard tire prices this includes the cost of storing managing secrets and certificates so that is, i'll explain you what it is and then the key operations such as the cryptographic operations like sign in verify encrypt decrypt or build separately so basically when you go for a standard version and let's say you have a key stored in the key which is used to, to encrypt the content of the storage account or any virtual hard disk or anything right so those kind of encryption decryption whenever the operation is performed you will be built that separately that is what the standard tier means however just to store that key but you're not using it it's included in the standard cost right but typically speaking nobody is going to do that but in standard tier company will use it where um, they will just pay as when they use it 
So also, right, you should also know that access to the key secret certificate stored in the standard tier is via the software protected keys. They do not use HSM. So premium tier is the only thing which uses the hardware security model, which is the extra layer of security. Now coming back to the premium tier, the premium tier includes all the future of this standard plus it has an additional capability focused on the high availability and scalability. Okay, so the premium tires are like generally packed up by the HSM hardware security model that provides an extra security for the cryptographic operation. That's uh, very super important to understand. Now, this premium tire instances are replicated across multiple Azure region for increased availability and the fault tolerance. Right. So this this copy of this thing will be in a different different region. Different region means let's say the organization is in united states they might be using it in united states region however for availability the azure might put it into replicate the same stuff into a different region called um, you know asia or australia right east uh, somewhere somewhere definitely not in the us it's in the different region it's a, or even in us it could be a, a east coast could be a vest or uh, the central so those kind of things now the premium type pricing includes like the the whole pricing includes storing and managing and everything and this also uh, includes the cryptographic performance also like how you saw on the standard anything that you do uh, for the encryption decryptions are separate costs but not here for the premium type because premium tire itself is very costly so they include everything now this kind of uh, you know premium tier is for some organization whose uh, uh, applications are critical and very important to do these things and it has to be highly available so those kind of uh, applications and organization only will use the premium tier very important to know that azure key vault when you create and store certain things everything is cost every time you read write a cost is involved okay but don't get scared for you as a developer just to try it out for you know just to understand and try it out it should not cost you more i would suggest try everything and then delete your key vault okay to, to save the cost but just be aware that it is all cost performance based on what you do all right so now in the upcoming videos you will be seeing demos on how you can use the azure ad app registration and access the key vault and then you can also see how user uh, uh, system assigned identity or the manager identity based on that concept how do you access the keyword in the show and then how do you use some feature called keyword referenced to configure it in your configuration and then your app can use that we'll be seeing all of these things in a separate separate video and this is the syntax uh, for how using the keyword reference so don't worry we will talk about these things in the demo and uh, the slide and content i will leave it in the description so that you can go and read more in case my content is not sufficient for you to go through it and um, this documentation reference right this is basically when you create a key vault you can also create the keyword using two important things which is cli azure cli and the azure power cell so for both i will give you the link you can go through to get the commands to create it using the script as well from the exam perspective the commands is also important to remember as a developer so you can go through it all right guys so the azure key vault concept for the AZ204 certification involves multiple videos. Okay, so you will cover, I'll be covering all the videos and then combine it as one video for anyone who looks for at one point of time to read everything, they can go through it. So guys, this video is all about Azure Key Vault concepts, right? So let's first understand the Azure Key Vault concepts. Only then you'll be able to see how you can utilize these things in the Azure portal and implement in your application. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!